The reality of being freelance is that um, even though I work for you know some of the best magazines and I've done a lot of work and I live from it almost for 15, 20 years now, uh, as a freelancer, I don't think it's good to think uh, you you are. Um, successful and can just wait for jobs to come. So I doubt my work and I doubt of, you know, what's going to happen in the next few months, always a bit. I'm more confident than 20 years ago when I started. You cannot uh, make up your mind about any places until you've been there. The only valuable source I'm going to have on a country uh, is of people that have been there. And so I want to see it for myself. Uh, and it's the case for a lot of my work in Afghanistan and in Pakistan where um, I feel uh, I've been so surprised between what people tell me how it is and how it actually is. It's two different things. That's what I do through my work is, is show that um, things are not like what you expect they are. And actually language is a big part of my um, toolkit as a photographer. Um, I speak quite a few and that really helps me in my work to specialize on regions that I'm kind of uh, yeah, and that I focused on. Yeah. That's why I like to work in places uh, uh, again and again because I arrive and I already know the unwritten rules and how to behave and, and that's my favorite thing uh, is, is long-term projects like this. I'm always preparing stuff. I'm always thinking of things that I could do. Um, I'm, I want to do more work on pollution, uh, which is uh, it's not something I'm too excited to photograph, but I think it's something that every photographer should spend a bit of time working on these days. I've done all the stuff I've been doing. You know. <laughs> I, sit, I set my eyes on it and they came through. Um, and then uh, I, I can't tell you, because this kind of dream assignment, you don't find out by doing sitting in front of your computer and doing research. You're there and something happens and you realize that you could go that way and what's going on behind there becomes your obsession. I might be working on a story, but I'm looking for, you know, the, uh, the when I'm there, I'm, I'm doing research on already what's going to be the next, uh, next step. Anything is possible, really. I mean, I, I, could, I, I never expected to do what I'm doing. I just made sure that I kept at it and refocused always every once in a while. Why am I being a photographer? Why do I want to? What do I aspire to? What kind of stories? Uh, and that starts with the hardest job is understanding yourself and what you really want to do. This is the biggest one to crack at the beginning, you know? And, 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 it, and being curious is like top of, the, top of the list. Like being curious about other people, ask questions. This is going to make you a better photographer.